So this is a technique for cutting mortises on large rails. Um, it consists of using a centering jig on the router. Yeah, this centering jig basically is made by putting two pins equidistant uh, from the routing bit. And uh, the routing bit I'm using is a half inch bit, four and a half inches long. These <clears throat> mortises are going to be three inches deep, which is relatively big. And, um, <clears throat> uh, well, relatively deep. They're going to be three quarter inches wide. So pretty hefty uh, mortises. Uh, the problem is I couldn't find routing bits that were big enough. Ideally, an upward cut spiral bit. Uh, they just weren't long enough. So I'm using a straight half inch bit. Uh, since I want a larger mortise than the bit is, uh, I was going to build a jig to cut these out, but that would have taken me a lot of time. So instead, I'm using two spacers, both different widths, one a quarter and one a half inch. That'll provide me with a good surface to run on because these doors are made with salvaged wood and the customer does not want them cleaned up in any way. So I have kind of a rough surface on the sides. And so this will cause the centering jig to be off center on the rail, I mean the, the style. But then uh, when I, when I um, flip these, so I put them on one side and then I flip them and then it'll cause them to be off center on the same side on the well off center on the opposite side and um, and then we'll have our three quarter inch wide mortise from a half inch jig so uh, actually I told you these were a quarter inch this is a yeah, quarter inch and half inch that's right so it's an eighth inch difference from the center off center on each side um, but and it adds up to uh, three quarter inch total. Another nice thing about these is when you cut the mortise on the end of the style, you don't have to, your, it, this gives a surface for your centering jig to ride on all the way up to the edge of the style. Otherwise, you couldn't use this on um, end mortises. Okay, uh, so I've marked out where I want my mortise to go and um, I'm ready to cut. Now, flip the, the spacers. And the beauty of this, it requires no jig other than the center cut um, uh, router base.
<laughs> Looks good. <laughs> <laughs>